Okay, so, kind of hesitant about putting this video up. I had my wisdom teeth out, and as soon as I got in the car, apparently I grabbed the camera and filmed myself for 30 minutes, but I'm not going to show you all 30 minutes because a lot of it's really embarrassing and really disgusting. Um, I proceed to bring the camera into my mouth and show you my gauze and my stitches. So. I'm going to spare you those details unless um, you like that, then I will redo the video later on and uh, put that up there for you guys because I do love each and every one of you. Um, and yeah, so I got my wisdom teeth out Friday, October 5th. I was really excited about it because I was really, really excited to eat pudding and jello and nothing else, and which I got old by day two. But basically, I woke up, and what I'm going to show you in a second is my outfit, um, what I did that morning, and my appointment was at 7 in the morning, by the way, and I had to drive uh, 35 minutes to get to the place where I was getting it done at, and I was staying at my parents' house. Basically, what I would really advise you guys to do if you're going in for facial surgery or even if you're going to the dentist, any kind of oral work, things that you really need to take in precaution you really need to moisturize your skin. I put the Garnier BB Cream on my my face right before I went in. I put a little extra that I normally do just to really moisturize my skin because I knew my face was going to be stretched right here for a while. And I also put an extra dose of um, lip balm on before I went in. And they didn't wipe it off. Um, they actually kind of appreciated it. So my lips kind of were really dry and really disgusting, which you'll see that in a second. But um, yeah, so it wasn't as fun. It is now um, Thursday and I, which I'm going to try to edit and put this up today for you guys uh, to see. But my teeth still hurt. I accidentally pulled the stitch out yesterday, which really hurt and bled for a little while, but um, they said it was fine. And don't eat solid foods. I'm a very stubborn person. By day two, I was still like taking oxycodone, 10 milligrams by the way, and they, and I felt so nauseous. I was taking nausea medicine. They prescribed nausea medicine with all this stuff. And I was like out of it. I was just laying around. I was like, I need a burrito. <laughs> so me and Garrett drove back in the next day after I had um, rested the night after. And we got me a bean burrito with extra cheese from um, Taco Bell. No onions, of course. It hurt so bad. And this is the first time they actually put extra, extra, extra cheese on there. And it hurt so bad. But I ate it all like a trooper. I am. And the next day, um, like I proceeded to eat pudding and jello, but I felt really lightheaded. And Garrett was really worried that I wasn't getting enough nutrients because, duh, I wasn't. Um, I was just eating like one pudding for breakfast, a jello, and a pudding for lunch. And then for dinner, I'd eat like a pudding and like, and maybe some juice or something like that. So um, he, he didn't. Garrett was very good to me. It's really great to something you need to have someone drive to and from, and he couldn't. He had school, so my parents both drove me there and back, and Mom took care of me until Garrett got in town, But um, which I'm very thank you, Mom and Dad, if you are watching this. Thank you all so much. Um, I'm glad I gave you all a little show after I watched the clip that I <laughs> filmed myself with. and uh, Yeah, thank you all so much for being there for me and uh, taking care of me in my time of need. But... Um, Garrett didn't know what to do, and the only thing he could think of was fast food to feed me. And so I was laying in bed Tuesday, no, Monday, and I was in so much pain. Um, I was going to try to go to work Sunday, but I couldn't. So, because um, it ended up getting worse as the days went on. But he cut up a McDonald's cheeseburger in teeny tiny little squares, and he fed them to me. And then he had the fries, and he made sure to ask for, like, the extra soft fries and fed those to me. So it was really, really sweet. So um, he took really good care of me. So it's really good to have somebody there to take care of you. If you don't, if you live somewhere far away from somebody, I do suggest going home or maybe going to a place where you can stay in the hospital for a few days because... You will not be in your right mind for anything. 30 minutes after I apparently got in the car, we went to Walgreens to get my um, prescriptions. That's whenever I woke up, which was right as soon as I clicked off on the camera. So I'm sorry for rambling. Sorry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the clip. And um, it's going to start off showing my outfit and everything like that. I do want to warn you that there is blood involved there. Yes. All right. Here you go. Hey, guys. Um, this morning, I'm at my parents' house. I'm about to go get my wisdom teeth out. I just kind of wanted to document so y'all can see 
what I wore and um, kind of helpful tips that I can learn to show you how to deal with it better. So this morning I just have my hair in a bun. I just have my BB cream on just to keep my skin protected um, from the sun in the car. I'm wearing my EOS lip balm, the um, mint one. And I just put on and I just put on a little eye cream because last night um, I put on waterproof eyeliner and I forgot and so I was like scrubbing and I needed to get down the redness and I ended up putting on some under eye concealer too. And that's all there. Then on my shirt I'm wearing um, a stylement uh, sweatshirt. I'll leave what it's called below in the link. And then below I'm just wearing some I'm just wearing some the Tommy Hilfiger um, uh, stretchy pajama pants. And on bottom my new a new new balance change shoes I got from TJ Maxx. So that is a little quick uh, surgery outfit of the day. You have to wear really stretchy clothing. And um, yeah, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. Bye. This is for you, Ebony Preston, if you wanted to say your details. Okay. And that works. Oh. I hope you caught all that with your secret picture. Well, I am saying this time better than any to meet my parents. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm not Daddy, he took care of me today and my mommy, and he's very awesome and supportive. And this is what I got from you, Paul. From, oh, um, oh, uh, Papa, I just want to say, let's let him go. And so I'm very sweet to bring you. And then we'll go back and go, Mommy! Look at her, I told you she got black color shirts, but she's not wearing the color of denim. But she said she was pretty, and Daddy looked pretty too. So, I guess this is a good time for me to show you my hair. So, um, I'm not in a row, I look really passive right now, so let me see if I can wear it. I have a, um, So, um, I got so 
sure how I got here, but they tell you when you go visit that they like you best wake up, do whatever you are, and then they, um, drop you off at the, um, they wear you out, but really, that's enough, baby. You, that's enough. Okay, well, I'll let you know how it goes later today if I'm alive or tomorrow. But I have been flagged per my request to watch, or to eat lots of pudding and jello and icing. So, say bye, mama. Bye bye. Alright, love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. I'm kind of embarrassed by it, but I think it's pretty funny. I think everybody should film them. And I want to do a shout-out to Danny Bear. She has been, she was one of the winners of my last giveaway. And um, she was really sweet, gave me a lot of advice that actually was really helpful because I was stupid and was drinking hot liquids. And um, she told me to drink nothing but cold liquids. And as soon as I started doing that, it just, I felt so much better automatically. So. Um, thank you so much. Um, it really did mean a lot that you were giving me advice and everything. And yes, so my speaking of giveaways, I will be announcing my giveaway Tuesday. I will be putting up an outfit video or something like that. Fashion, something to start off your Mondays with fashion um, Monday. But Tuesday I'll do an extra video to tell you who the winners are of my giveaway. And then Thursday, next Thursday, a week from now, I will be putting up a new giveaway, which I hope you guys like, um, and I'm not 100% which one it is, I'm between two different things, because I'm doing giveaways back to back to back for a little while, so, stay tuned for that, and also if you want to get this makeup look and see how I get ready for filming for you guys, I'm going to be filming that very soon and having that up for you, so you can check it out and sh telling you different ways how you can make it more daytime appropriate and like, um, for cameras versus video, um, whatever stuff. So. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all very soon. Bye!